Hi, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'm going to take you through Power BI and its capabilities. And also I'll tell you how you can use Power BI in conjunction with Azure services. Power BI is not actually part of Azure. It's part of Office 365, but it is a very popular tool that is used along with Azure services. So let me take you through that. Microsoft Power BI is a business analytics service that provides interactive visualizations with self-service business intelligence capabilities. Power BI is a very powerful reporting tool. You can develop different kinds of reports and dashboards, and you can share those customized dashboards and interactive reports with your colleagues or users, and you can scale these Power BI across your organization with built-in governance and security. The key success of Power BI is its simplicity. Even an end user with a very minimum knowledge of IT can be able to develop reports and dashboards. That's the biggest strength point of Power BI. Okay. And when you are developing things with Power BI, generally you follow five steps. First step is getting the data into Power BI. There are literally a number of connectors which you can use in order to connect to the source databases and pull the data. It can be Excel file, it can be Azure SQL database, it can be on-premises database, pull them together in Power BI. Once you got the data, you will start developing reports. You can create reports with interactive visuals, text and graphics. It's a very, very good tool in terms of developing reports. And once you have developed reports, you can pin them to a dashboard. Basically, you will create a dashboard with most important metrics on one screen to tell a story. So for example, you have recently released an advert about your product. Now you want to measure the success of that advert. For that case, you can design a dashboard with all different metrics or different views of the same data to get the insight of how successful your recent advertising campaign is. Okay. And once you created the dashboards, you can bundle different dashboards into an app and publish it to the users. So users can view those dashboards or reports using mobile app or desktop app so they can view using you know browser all those stuff and finally once business users started going into these reports they can analyze them and monitor them and take informed business decisions even in these days of data feast still there is lack of data in terms of providing in a meaningful way to the business users to take informed decisions personally in my experience there is always a struggle for business users to get a proper report, which will provide a good insight in order to take an informed business decision. And Power BI can help you in achieving that. Now, how we can carry out these steps using Power BI? There are different tools that are available within Power BI in order to carry out these steps. So let me take you through them. First one is Power BI Desktop. It is a Windows desktop solution that you can use to develop reports and publish them. Basically, if you want to develop very complex reports, generally you do with Power BI desktop, or you can develop the similar reports using Power BI online also, but people tend to use Power BI desktop when they develop complex reports. And once you develop a report using Power BI desktop, then you publish that into Power BI service. Microsoft Power BI service is also called as Power BI online or app.powerbi.com. Basically, you can go into Power BI and view the published reports from Power BI desktop. Also, you can develop reports within Power BI online also. And you create these reports, get all these reports together and build a dashboard using Power BI service. And the next tool is Power BI mobile apps. Power BI offers a set of mobile apps for iOS, Android, and Windows 10 mobile devices. In mobile apps, basically you can publish the dashboards from Power BI Online into an app. And within mobile app, user can connect and interact with your cloud and on-premises data. Basically in the form of reports and dashboards, they can able to view the data and analyze the data. And finally, for on-premises customers, there is something called Power BI Report Server. It allows you to publish Power BI reports to an on-premise report server after creating them in Power BI Desktop. Okay, so four offerings. One is Desktop where you build the reports and publish them into Power BI service. Power BI service you can use to create reports and create dashboards and publish them into apps. And Power BI mobile apps using which 
your users able to view the dashboards and reports and analyze it and analyze the data. And finally, for on-premises customers perspective, you can use the Power BI report server to receive the published reports and serve the on-premises user community. Okay, now how this Power BI can work together with Azure? Let me take you through that. By combining Azure services and Power BI, you can turn your data processing efforts into analytics and reports that provides real-time insights into your business. Azure and Power BI has built-in connectivity and integration to develop complex business intelligence solutions. As I said, Power BI has a lot of connectors and some of these connectors are to Azure services. So you don't need to write any code in order to connect to a, for example, stream analytics or event hub. Okay. In stream analytics configuration, you can configure in such a way to stream the data into Power BI. Similarly, Azure HD Insight, Machine Learning, Azure Storage, SQL Database, SQL Data Warehouse. So there are a host of services within Azure can feed the data into Power BI. Our Power BI can pull the data from host of Azure services. So by combining the data sources and Power BI, you can build a very complex business intelligence solutions that provides insights into business, which will enable business users in order to make informed decisions. Okay, so that's it for this lecture. In this lecture, I have provided you a brief introduction to Power BI and the key five steps that you follow when you are developing a complex solution on Power BI. And I have taken you through some of the tools that are available in Power BI. And finally, how you can use Azure and Power BI together to deliver complex business intelligence solutions. Okay, next lecture is a lab where I'm going to show you how to fetch the data from SQL Data Warehouse and present the data in Power BI in the form of report. Okay, so if you have some time, join me in the next lab.